hi guys in today's diy project i'll be making a wall decoration and i'm using mostly dollar tree items all of dollar tree items i'll be using today okay i have some spoons here from the dollar tree we have 24 of those and i'll be spray painting them with my rust-oleum frosted glass and this is how the difference is when i spray paint them i ended up changing the color in the end and you'll see exactly what i did i'm also using floral foams and this is a six pack and i'm going to be using all of those i have some thumbtacks i'm just using my utility knife to cut a base on each foam so they can sit correctly on the surface now i'm using my thumbtacks and i'm putting the first one in the center and then i'll start to arrange each thumbtack going around that first one so when I'm done with this part it's gonna have the same look as the frames that I'll be using I'm going to be using six of the Dollar Tree picture frames Now I'm done with this one and this is how it looks. I place all my thumbtacks everywhere except the base and I made six of those. I'll be making six picture frames. You can make as many as you'd like. So here are the picture frames that I'll be using. These are the five by sevens from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna take out um, the stand and the paper from the inside. I'll be using the glass only. So I'll also remove the hooks and I'm just using a pliers to do so. Next step is to reapply my glass on the inside and I'm just using a small amount of hot glue and then after the glass is set, I'll just use the hot glue to go right around the perimeter. Now here are my six frames completed and I changed the background since I'm using the spoons in this white color. I'm just attaching my spoons, four on each frame. And I'm just making sure the tip of the spoon is pointing directly in the corner of my frame. I place each one in the spot that I want them. And then I'm just using my hot glue to attach them. But for a more permanent bond, you want to use a strong adhesive like the Aileen's um, brand that I'm showing you. Now I'll go ahead and attach the center and I'm using hot glue again, but as I said, feel free to use a good um, adhesive. Now this is how it looks. Um, I have all six completed. I'm going to be hooking mine on the wall with Velcro. You can use contact strips. After I place them on the wall, I realized that the color wasn't popping enough. So good thing I was using hot glue and that's one of the reason why crafters use hot glue okay um, it's easy for you to take it off and you know if you make a mistake it's easy to fix so I went ahead and pull each one off and I use my rust-oleum hammered silver to spray paint the spoons and the hammered silver looks um, somewhat gray so they look better to me in gray any color that you use in your home feel free to use that color it would still look good with any color. And here's the Aliens adhesive that I've been using lately. Um, the packaging was different for the one that I had before this one, but they seem to work the same. So I highly recommend this adhesive. I prefer it over E6000. It dries in like five minutes. It's not completely dry, but it gets tacky where you can actually start working with the project. And a little bit goes a long way. I feel like I'm doing a promo for them, but whatever, it's a free promo, okay? I love the product, so I'm gonna recommend it. But what you can do for me is use my link if you're gonna order one or two or three or 10, 
use my link in the description box below so you can help to support my channel i'll get a couple cents from each sale and it's at no additional cost to you here's how the frames look on the wall you can set them however you would like put them in any direction horizontal vertical you can put them close together it's up to you let me know if you like this project leave me a comment in the comment section below i would love to hear if you have something else in mind that you would have done differently and i'm sure someone that's reading the comment would love to know also okay so they can recreate this project and add your twist to it all right let me know in the comment section please leave me a thumbs up i'll really really appreciate that okay thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in my next one here's last week's video i would love if you could watch this video to support my channel even if you watched it before please watch it again <laughs> thank you so much i'll appreciate that all right take care bye